Hello, this is Eric Shin. Today I can show you the DJ, DJI S800 with Zenmuse Z15 brushless gimbal, uh, the, the king of brushless, the, the queen of brushless gimbals, and um, Sony Nex 7 on it, and a nice FBB ground station on the radio. We'll, you will see how this all works nicely together. So first of all, here we have the DJI. A uh, great concept with removable arms, with uh, enough space for all the electronics, uh, with the well-working uh, Wukong flight controller with GPS and all the stuff. I guess uh, if you watch this video you, you read something about it. In the back here we have um, a big six cell battery that's uh, around uh, 24 volts and 5000 milliamps. Um, you can fly this, this copter with 10 or maybe even 15,000 milliamps uh, to have long flight times. Here with the 5000 pack we have around uh, I don't know 6 to 8 minutes roughly with all the weight. Um, it's a little over 5 kilo. And here uh, on the controller side we have a Grobner MC20 uh, with arms to hold the monitor and also um, the video receiver. It's 5.8 GHz for video here with diversity so it has two antennas and chooses the best signal and so on. It has uh, ultra bright. No, ultra bright. It has a 350 candela, I think, um, FPV monitor, um, seven inch. I guess it's seven inch. The the monitor and the receiver are fed from this little to 2,200 three cell battery. Um, now we turn on the system. Yeah. So now I'm doing something very stupid and connecting the battery. Risking my head chopped off. That's the nice beeping sound. Okay, immediately you see you see something's moving here on the image. I hope it's getting you a good shot. Oh, maybe this way. Okay, so now you get a secret glimpse in my in my hangar. Uh, where where are we? Uh, somehow the gimbal looks in the wrong direction, but I guess I can fix that. Yeah, so you see a live video downlink of the Sony Nex. You should. So okay. Now I hit the gimbal uh, mode switch to center mode and now it looks, if you look behind, it looks in flight direction. Um, the gimbal has three modes. It has uh, FPV mode. In FPV mode I can... I have two, two nice soft sliders here. The one is for up and down tilting. Yeah, and the, the awesome stuff is you can rotate, rotate more than 360 degree, it doesn't stop. Just that may be confusing for FPV mode. The other thing is you can uh, tilt it uh, nine, uh, 45 degrees right and left in this restricted mode or FPV mode. Then maybe better for FPV is the centered mode, where it looks straight in flight direction, uh, and the sliders don't work. Uh, in this special mode, you can have a secured. Uh, there is a special, special special flip switch that is secured. If I hit it, it goes 90 degree down, which gives you exact overhead shots. Put it up again. 
Okay, so that's the gimbal. Yeah, and on the other half I have the mode switch for um, the flight modes of the flight controller, which is GPS attitude and manual mode. Uh, here I have a nice thing. Uh, it's I hope you hear it. So these were the telemetry readings from uh, the Graupner system, which told me I'm zero altitude and I used 40 milli uh, milliamps uh, battery because it just stands here and blinks, so it doesn't take a lot of capacity. Um, yeah, the speech speech uh, warnings are configured to 3,800 milliamps usage or under 20.4 volts uh, of low voltage. We didn't go to uh, we didn't let the NASA decide to auto land if the voltage is too low. We we want to control it ourselves. Probably the most important switches are these two here. And I try to show you what they do. If I flip this one here, it goes into Aufnahme, which means recording of a video. And switching back stops the record. And another nice switch, the big one up here takes as a photo. Okay? So that's the reason why this copter flies. It doesn't fly for fun. It takes professional photographs. It sends it down with a 5.8 gigahertz video downlink. And yeah. That's almost it. So the S800. Of course you will get nice uh, flying, uh, a nice little demonstration of how it flies, uh, so hold on. But the most astounding fact of this little, yeah little, it's not little, of this copter is the, the Pro gimbal and how it works and how it stabilizes the camera. And I, I will take up the copter and show you how it works. Which is a bit dangerous, but okay. So you see, wow! I really like this every time I get to see it. So <laughs> that's so freaking awesome. But of course, you have to pay for this. So it will counteract on every movement the copter, copter does due to wind or if the pilot is nervous flying and give you good video. Give you a nice video even if the circumstances wouldn't allow you to film nice quality. Okay, so cheers. Yeah, it's really amazing what, what kind of technical stuff is involved here. Of course it's not cheap. Uh, this setup will come to around eight to ten thousand dollars, so you have to do it for a living, I guess. Or you must be very very passionate about your hobby to buy something like that. But yeah.
Don't tell the dish I don't sound like. Hope you enjoyed the flight, seeing the thing in action. I hope the, the proud owner, it's not me, unfortunately it's not me, I hope the proud owner will uh, send us some material of his first shots soon. Uh, yeah, and maybe I can even fly with him together, uh, air to air sessions. We'll see. That's a nice Graupner MC20, a 12th channel and two huge sliders which let you control this nice gimbal. And here we have our flying monster, DJI S800 with Wukong. Here is a part from the Wukong controller and here is the IMU which has the sensors. Yeah, the GPS and down here is this awesome gimbal. Uh, nice trim, so it stays where it has to be uh, and it doesn't need much much power to hold, in hold it in place so that it doesn't draw power from the motors if it doesn't have to. Yeah, you have three axes it's here for the pan um, the second one for the roll axis. I guess this that's one of the most important stabilization things here. Uh, you wouldn't you wouldn't really need this 360 degree pan because you can pan the copter relatively easily by itself with flying. So in flight you just need this stabilization and this here. Uh, it's roll and nix stabilization. Um, in the front, this gimbal has infrared LED for shutter control. It has an HDMI connector, which looks yeah, a bit cheap, but it isn't. HDMI connector going out somewhere here in the electronics, and that's where the magic happens. Because um, video feeding uh, wires go out of here and into a motor disappear and go up to the gimbal to the gimbal control unit where it exits to a video cable and the video cable goes into the video dumb link fine engineerings here and maybe that's a part of the reason why this gimbal costs uh, 3000 euros not dollars okay so and it is also Vibration dampened here with, with rubber balls, three on each on each mounting uh, that makes twelve of them. Close up of this fifteen inch prop with a huge, uh, yeah, no fist size is, is too much, but it's a child's fist at least. Huge motors, DJI, uh, three hundred and twenty kV, but yeah has 24 volts so it gets some revolutions also the battery tray is really nicely designed so you can uh, can unmount it here with this this little hook then you can strap on your battery very comfortable and when it's strapped you sorry for the sound when it's strapped you just reinsert it so thanks for joining uh, leave me some comments and if you have questions ask me i spent some time with the thing and, and 
maybe I can answer you some questions. Um, yeah, as always, comment, subscribe, and thanks for watching. Bye.